Is India the next big thing for Apple? The tech giant certainly seems to think so, with its plans to invest and manufacture iPhones in the country. But with India's reputation as a price-sensitive market, Apple's path to success may not be straightforward. Despite this, the company achieved record quarterly revenue in India during the October-December quarter, posting double-digit growth. However, with reports of quality issues with iPhone parts sourced from India, the question arises, can Apple's big bet on India really pay off? For years, Apple has been relying on China to produce its iPhones through the massive Foxconn factories. But lately, China's supply chain tie-ups, riots at Foxconn's Zhengzhou factory, and strict COVID-19 restrictions have forced Apple to look for alternative options. To make matters worse, Apple recently announced missing earnings expectations for the last fiscal quarter, posting the largest quarterly revenue decline in over five years and the first year-over-year -year sales decline since 2019. CEO Tim Cook attributed the general macroeconomic environment and specific production issues in China affecting the production of the iPhone 14. Plus, the rising political tensions and various sanctions between the US and China have made the situation even more challenging. That's where India comes into the picture. The country boasts the world's fifth largest economy and has a young, productive workforce capable of catering to the needs of the global economy. And that's why Apple has been investing heavily in India lately. Apple started manufacturing iPhones in India with the iPhone SE in 2017. Today, India produces some of the most advanced iPhones, including the iPhone 11, iPhone 12, and iPhone 13 at the Foxconn facility. Although the Indian factory is smaller than its Chinese counterparts, it's quickly becoming a crucial part of Apple's global production strategy. To further strengthen its production capabilities in India, Foxconn, Apple's largest supplier, has committed to investing a whopping $968 million in the country. Plus, Pegatron, Apple's Taiwanese supplier, plans to open a second facility near Chennai, just six months after investing $150 million in its first facility in the region. All in all, Foxconn Wistron and Pegatron will produce at least 25% of Apple's global iPhone production from India. Apple is also focusing on India, as the country has become the biggest smartphone market in the world. Despite smartphone sales stagnating in other regions, Apple saw double-digit growth in India. CEO Tim Cook acknowledged that the company's success in emerging markets like India was a driving force behind its impressive $90.1 billion revenue in the September quarter. To maintain this growth, Apple is making significant investments in India. They are now making India a dedicated sales region. In 2020, Apple launched its online store in India, offering full product catalogs. The company is also set to launch two flagship stores in Mumbai and New Delhi. Discounts on iPhones have been one of the significant reasons behind this growth in India. These discounts are highly popular in the price-sensitive Indian market. The iPhone 11 and iPhone 12 mini are available for under 40,000 rupees. The iPhone 12 can be purchased for around 50,000 rupees, roughly 600 US dollars, which is an incredible price point. These competitive prices are drawing more people to iPhones over Android phones. But it's not just the discounts that attract Indian consumers to iPhones. The long software update promise, premium features, and flashy specs are additional factors that are drawing people toward them. The iPhone 12 and the iPhone 13 are excellent phones, especially for deal prices. With iPhone's excellent resale value, people hold on to them with great care. The iPhone 13 Pro's resale value is around 70,000 rupees, and the iPhone 12 Pro's resale value is around 53,000 rupees. This makes iPhones a better investment option for people who want to upgrade every year. Apple is not just focused on the Indian market. They're also investing in research and development facilities for Apple Maps, as well as building a supply chain operation to support their long-term plans in the country. This move will lower the price of Apple products as products not made in India have high sales and import taxes. With its sights set on India, Apple is hoping to replicate its success in the Chinese market and drive long-term growth for years to come. In the end, Apple's big bet on India's manufacturing capabilities could pay off in a big way. And as the company continues to invest in the country, it's clear that the future of iPhone production may look very different from the past.